All right, you guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be talking about how to fill out a palette with Mary Kay. As you guys can tell, this is brand new, uh, brand new palette. Um, I have it on filled in here. This is the Pro palette. Uh, again, if you guys don't know about Mary Kay and you have never heard or don't know any consultant, please refer back to the link that I'm gonna post in here. If you guys have any questions, make sure you contact me um, or do mail or make sure you comment down below. We're gonna be talking about the product wise, how it uh, works, how it develops, or what is the, um, you know, efficiency when it comes to applying the product and we'll make sure we give you guys enough looks and give you different ideas for how to utilize the products if you don't have it make sure you click on the button right here underneath for any kind of questions and purchases um, if you have one please go and refer back to your consultant for more information so again this is the mary Kay pro palette um, so we're gonna fill in this one for the very first time for Duomel, which I'm very excited because he's never tried Mary Kay. And the very first product I have in here with me will be the beige too. That I believe that this will be the uh, powder, the pressed powder. And look how beautiful that is. So the uh, next option I have in here with me is the beige too. This is the cream to powder foundation and it's really easy to utilize. You just basically click on it and then, then just swipe it, whichever one you wanna use it. Uh, one of the best things, I, again, I think I mentioned it in the previous video, is the fact that you don't have to over waste plastic and you don't carry that many products with you. So with the, this palette, you can have your eyeshadows, you can have your contour, you can have your bronzers, you can have your highlighters or your eyeshadows or your foundation and your pressed powder all in one without carrying so many products because sometimes you know with so many products it's so difficult to keep track on and i think they are not only beautiful but they are amazing quality for you to try on so i'm gonna continue with this again we're very brand new to try in this this uh mary Kay cosmetics so i'm excited to try this one this is glazed this is the highlighter on glaze color it's kind of like a champagne and we're gonna put it right here. We should actually have the mail helping us holding the pad. What do you guys think? I think you wanna say, hey. Okay, so Domel's gonna join us to hold the palette right here. This beautiful palette right here. Come on, Domel, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Well, I go ahead and actually tell you guys and describe what products I have in here. Why don't you help us hold in this product? And you can actually let us know because this is one male's palette, so we want to make sure you know we know how he wants to fill it. Did you want? Did you rather have it like this or just standing up? You can let us know. That's fine. Don't be shy. So the next product I have in here is the Honey, the Chroma Fusion Honey, uh, Honey Glow, or Eclat de Miel, which is French. So I'm having a little bit of a hard time opening this one. This is kind of like a um more deeper and more like a rosy highlighter right what do you think Demel? yeah they're both deeper so Demel's oh. just gonna swipe it in and then the next products i have in here with me are this one is the chroma fusion hot coral and i chose this color because Demel loves corals right you are always talking about corals coral lipstick Coral eyeshadows and coral looks like coral uh, line and that too. Um, so this is a coral br uh, blush, and he's gonna help us put it in. That is pretty. It's super pretty and it's very pigmented. It looks super pigmented. Uh, next one we're gonna choose this one. This is a juicy blush, juicy peach. And again, what I like about this is that you don't have you only waste so little plastic, and they are so great working with the environment. Which I'm very happy. It's kind of like a corally one, but it's completely different from the other one. Yeah, this one's a little bit more summertime. This is more like spring. Yeah, it's definitely super pretty. Uh, the next products I have in here with me, it's this one. This is the uh, Chroma Fusion Contour in Coco. This Chroma Fusion Coco looks Coco. Coco delicious. Very delicious. Yeah. So we're gonna put this one whatever the mouth wants it. That's still a beautiful color. It's beautiful. It can be used for your eyes. I mean, I don't know if you guys would like to use it, but it can be used carefully for your eyes for dipping out any kind of like smoky eye look. The next product I have in here is a Chroma Vision Contour 
latte. No, oh, latte is getting everywhere. I'm excited for him to try this one out. This is kind of like a cool, cool tone brown. What do you think? That's pretty. Still super pretty. And then I think we're gonna fill it in with uh, with our two bronzers and I'll be right back. That already looks good. Duamel has a palette in here and I went ahead and I actually grabbed the bronzers, which remember, they are gonna have a little bit of highlight because they're gonna give you that natural glow that the sun, it's sun is kissing your face. So what Duamel was telling me in just a minute is that the cool, the contours are always gonna be more on their decline under the cool tone side because why Duamel? Because it's supposed to mimic a natural shadow and your shadows don't have warmth. So that would be the major difference between contouring and bronzing. Bronzing is meant to... Oh, I put my finger in it. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to say hate because hate is a, it's a very strong word, but there's a little thing over here, but holding it and you know making sure that everything fits, I get always so upset and worked out because... Anyways, That there fits it is. perfectly, actually. It's super pretty. Oh, yes. Come on, bronzers. So I remember we have... Of course, again, we have a the sponges to apply the cream to powder foundation. And I'm sorry, did you actually finish explaining why this ones are cool tone? So the contour are always going to be cool tone because as Omel was saying, and he's the expert in here, he says that it, they're always going to mimic the natural shadow, shadow, the natural shadow. And you're never going to find your shadow looking at yourself being red or brown. No. It's always gray or black. So remember, we have in here... I'm excited to try this one on, on the uh, cream to powder. I don't think it, it would be a, a good option. That's why they sell the uh, sponges for this one. But you know, you never know. I mean, we're all about trying in here. We, we actually have in here, our assistant Domel just pointed this one out. I'm excited to try this one for the cream to powder foundation. Uh, anyways, we have the beige two in here. We have the beige two uh, loose, uh, translucent. The press powder. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, there's so many powders. I have the loose powder in here, so I was thinking about it, and then I was like, nope. This is the, mm -hmm. again. This is the cream to powder. Press powder. Press powder. We have Highlight the highlighters. Shades. We have the blushes, blushes because they are gonna obviously want to work the best for Domel because he's gonna try all makeup with me, okay? And then we also have the contour and the beautiful bronzes. Look how beautiful this is, and how gorgeous this palette looks like. And again, you can carry everything in just one palette and it's so good so durable so resistant not like you're gonna throw it, it away it reminds from, like, me of the fenty beauty one. Oh my goodness it yes make... it does so mary is always uh, avant-garde so it's always like in trend definitely and again one i mean to me one of the points that are like it doesn't have a uh, mirror but it's so pretty that you can actually see yourself you literally can see the reflection of what i'm doing right now so uh definitely you have everything in here, which is pretty amazing. And then on top of that, you can build it whichever way you want to. Um, again, you also have this choice, or American consultants have this choice where they can fold this ones in. Um, I'm not sure right now looking at it, I don't think you can fit as many options as in here, because just two of these ones has, two of these ones equals to one of this size. So it will be one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is more shorter. I think you can put the compartment in here uh, to like take, it looks like it would fit the I plastic. So. You don't think so? Mm -hmm. I've seen it before, so I know what I'm talking about. All right. Okay. So anyways, we have this one. We also have, this is gorgeous, doesn't it? So you That's your full face right there, let me tell you. That is your full face right there. All what you else? Need is concealer and eyeshadows. And we again, we have the concealers in here. And if you want to build another one for eyeshadows, you can actually get if you wanted to. I, again, I haven't tried uh, completely the entire brand, and I would love to. But you, depending on how the cream to powder foundations work and how pigmented they are. I don't know if it would be really good to try a cream to powder as foundation a as a concealer. I mean, it's not Maybe. the best choice, I mean, it's but it's an option. more for youthful skin where, you know, it's it, it's bulletproof, but if you have more aging you know, skin, yeah, where you're yeah. battling wrinkles and things like that, you most definitely like want that. to avoid 
you know creams to powders like this right, one because in here. Because you want you want to make sure that you're selecting you know the proper uh, you know the, the proper formulation and setting it with the proper powder. So I just wouldn't recommend it. But if you're on a pinch, I think it would be great. Yeah, definitely. And again, we have the uh, the beautiful uh, concealers in here. So I think the mail is set up for our next video for full face with makeup with Mary Kay. Um, just stay tuned and let us know what you guys think about it. Please comment down below. And again, if you have any questions, if you want to try something with Mary Kay, and it is in my possibility and my options to give you guys. Uh, if you don't have a Mary Kay consultant, I'll be more than happy to assist you. Uh, make sure uh, you know bring the new looks, including Mary Kay products. And see you guys soon. Stay connected. Please make sure you subscribe on the button down below and click on the notification button and comment what kind of looks you're looking for us to do and if you guys would like to see more options for the eyeshadow palettes or for the pro palettes and other diversity options um as far as what other options you can do with this one so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys soon stay tuned and be happy and share some love bye, -bye.